Hi, I'm with the lovely Sarah Norman now, who's just finished the pre novice free day with the beautiful horse, Harry. So, how do you feel the dressage just went? Um, yeah, a bit tense. Got a bit excited, especially when we saw everyone in the next door arena. <laughs> so, um, he did chill out by the end of it and gave a bit better second half of the test. That initial excitement of, all oh, my friends are here, all yeah. oh, my fellow horsey friends. Yeah, and, and he's a youngster who hasn't been out to party on his own really before, so this is quite a big thing for him oh, at this level. Good boy, yeah. And how old is he? He's seven. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and are you here for the rest of the weekend? We are, we're here till Sunday afternoon. Yeah. So what will you be doing over the next three days? Um, tomorrow we've got nothing because it's the second half of the pre novice three-day dressage. And then Saturday morning early we do cross-country, which is roads and tracks, steeplechase, and other roads and tracks, and cross-country because it's long format. And then a trot up after date on Sunday morning and then show jumping. Perfect. A nice round off to the weekend. Yeah, exactly. With some show jumping. Yes. Oh, that's really good. And uh, we've also got a couple of very special guests <laughs> with us now. I'd like to introduce Matty and Tia. Hello. <laughs> now, they come along with you in the trailers at all of the events? Yeah, they're always with us. Yeah, they're on the yard at me all day and then they come off eventing. Proper eventing dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Uh, so which one's the oldest out of the two? Um, Matty, the little tan, is a seven-year-old and Tia's five on Monday. Beautiful. Um, and so, what did you say earlier they were? Agility dogs. Agility dogs, yes. Yeah. At agility level. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell us more about that? Um, they train twice a week. She, uh, Tia is a fast and furious um, lower level dog who's just started out really. Um, so she is very fast, loads of drive, but not necessarily a clear round dog because she makes mistakes for going too fast. <laughs> Whereas Matty is a steady clear round dog who is very consistent and yeah, loves her job but at a slower pace. And how do Tia, Matty and Harry all get on? Are they best of friends? Yeah, they're good as gold. Yeah, the dogs and horses learn to interact together really well. They, yeah, they live with each other so they're quite happy. Beautiful. And how do the uh, Tia and Matty find the travelling coming to these events? I mean, have you come far today to see No, you? just over an hour. Um, yeah, they're fine. They love going on the lorry, but they got very excited yesterday when I was loading up with sleeping bags and their dog beds and things. They know they're going to then. <laughs> they get very upset if their dog beds don't go in as well because oh. they know they're staying at home. <laughs> <laughs> so they've got to come with you, really. Yeah. And yeah. are they lucky mascots? Do they bring good luck to you? I think so. It seems very strange when you don't bring them. It seems very empty. There's something missing, really. So yeah. Definitely. Part well. of the team. Yeah. And they're absolutely beautiful. Are they brother and sister? No, they're not. They're different litters. She's actually Labrador cross collie. Um, I'm just not sure where the Labrador is in there. No, I don't have a few lot of lab, <laughs> No. Um, whereas she's uh, got working parents. She's pure border collie. Beautiful. I know they're different colours and different breeds, but they look very similar. Yeah. They look like brother and sister. And they get on like a house on fire, so I couldn't ask for more from them, really. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for taking the time to no, introduce fine. the lovely Tira and Matty to us, and good luck for the rest of the weekend. We'll see you about. Thank you very much.